and touchdown. The septic tank has landed. So I'm getting ready to install my septic tank. What we have here is a thousand gallon concrete tank. And for those of you guys that don't know how this works, it's um, essentially a square box with a lid and it's got um, an inlet pipe and an outlet pipe. What you see right there is the outlet. The outlet is always a couple inches lower than the inlet. So the inlet will come from the house side right here. What you see here are these green things. Uh, by code in our county, we have to have inspection risers. And what those do is those will sit up on top. You see those two rings in there and be brought up to grade. And then from there, uh, we'll set a distribution box, uh, which will divide the two lines to go into the leach fields, which I'll show you here uh, in a little while. So what I'll do is, uh, we've got the house staked out, I've got all the elevations set with the laser, and we'll come over here. And I find it really helpful when I lay these systems out uh, to use uh, uh, marking paint. You can get marking cans of paint that work upside down and they really work good for marking, marking the area. It's nice to have uh, the paint, you can have nice clean square edges and, and it just really helps to have a clean system installed when you have your inspection. If everything looks sloppy and, and poorly dug holes and um, just, uh, just basically an unsanitary looking install, uh, it just p poses problems. You know, It kind of reflects off of the quality of work uh, and I think the inspectors uh, pick up on that. So right here we have um, uh, the hole marked out for the tank, uh, 12 inch overdig on each side. So that gives us plenty of room uh, to maneuver and to square the tank. So from there, uh, we'll come out of the tank here you'll see this small square will be the location for the distribution box and from there we have uh, marked out the head of the uh, of the leech lines so um, that's essentially it so uh, fire up the excavator and we'll All get right, started. Here's what a septic tank hole should look like nice clean square edges uh, using your grade laser or transit whatever you have even a level on a 2x4 will work to level that bottom out real good make sure that sits in there flat and a nice hard compact soil and uh, that's uh, that's what you're looking for over dug about a foot on each side so you have uh, plenty of room to work with and to square it and that's it so I'm gonna go over there and get it and get really it set in the hole. You guys pay attention to this process of how this thing goes in and yeah granted in a uh, if you need to do this um, in a uh, a community in a WRL situation or you need you need to handle it you, you know you're probably not going to have access to the these materials the tanks and such however the principle uh, is the same so uh, as I said pay special attention to how all this works I'll detail it the best I can in the videos uh, because you may find yourself needing to do something like this you know this is the reality of prepping right here um, so many of us are focused on um, uh, ammunition stockpile, tactical equipment, flashlights, you know, th that type of thing, which is fine. It is one component of it, uh, but this is the reality right here. And all of those firearms and all of those preps um, in, in that regard are not going to do you a bit of good uh, if you find that your community or your family is uh, suffering um, of a bacterial outbreak because of poor sanitary uh, planning or conditions. So this here uh, is fundamental, uh, fundamental and um, uh, that's why I'm going to take the time to document this. Uh, it's very, very important. Uh, something that so much is overlooked uh, with those who consider themselves to be preppers. And um, uh, you need to, uh, this is, as I said, this is a reality of life that needs to be addressed and uh, needs to be done correctly. So um, let's get to work.
That's the way it ought to look, huh? That tank was so heavy. What did he say? 9,000 pounds? 9,000 pounds. That was all that excavator wanted. I, I didn't even know if it would uh, get it down in there, but it was uh, it did, so that's it.